Hi, this is Ethan from Printed Village, and today I'm going to show you guys how to design a really simple drawing of a firework. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to want to do is give myself a nice dark sky background. So I'm just going to pick a, a dark blue from over here and use the paint bucket tool to fill in my background. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the brush tool and I'm going to make sure that the hardness of the brush is set to zero so it's as fuzzy as possible. And I'm just going to adjust the size using the uh, left bracket short key, as you can see in the description of the video. And now I think I'm going to grab a nice red, since it is the fourth. And I'm just going to drop a little fuzzy bit of it in right there. And now to highlight that, I'm going to take some white. I'm going to shrink the brush down a little further. And I'm going to put a little drop of that in the center. Okay, so now to make it look a little more uh, explosive, I'm going to go over to the Layer Styles option, and instead of Normal, I'm going to select Dissolve. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer with it set to Normal, and just merge these so that it looks dissolved, but the layer style is still normal. That'll keep it from doing anything strange uh, in the coming steps. Okay, so now I'm going to use the hotkey Command Option T, and it brings up the transform box. I'm just going to drag the pivot point out to the center. And now I'm going to bring up the little double rotation arrow and just rotate it around that just a little bit. And then hit enter. And now you're going to want to hit command option shift T and just keep hitting T and it'll keep duplicating your brush mark all the way around the outside of that circle. This is a really cool shortcut. And now I'm just going to merge these layers together. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate them. And hit Command T. Shrink them down a little bit. And just put them inside of that first ring. This is starting to look a little more like a firework now. And now I'm going to get the elliptical marquee. Over here it's under the rectangular marquee. And holding down Shift. I'm going to try to drag out a circle about as big as the inside ring right there. All right, and now that I've got that, just go up to Select, Modify, and Feather. And I think 10 pixels is actually right. What this does is it softens the edges of that selection, so when I put the next effect on it, it won't be as abrupt. OK, so now go up to Filter, Blur, and radial blur. And in radial blur you want to make sure that the blur method is set to zoom, the quality is set to best, and the amount is set to 100. And now hit OK. And it just sends those guys in a tad. And hit Command D to deselect that. And for the final touch, I'm just going to make a new layer, get some white, and get the brush. Make a really big soft brush. And just put a little pop in the center. Go to dissolve and hit that. And merge the layers. And there you go. There's a fun little 4th of July drawing of a firework for you guys. So enjoy that. Have fun and happy 4th. Bye.